coming up to 10 minutes past 8 o'clock. Well, first they were up, then they were taken down. Now they're back up again. Uh, a safe sex campaign is causing controversy in Queensland. The ad shows two men holding each other and a condom. They were installed on bus shelters and billboards, but after some complaints, they were removed. The advertising company has now decided those complaints were part of an orchestrated campaign and the signage can stay. So is the controversy warranted? We're joined by Michael O'Brien, who features in the ad, and Wendy Francis from the Australian Christian Lobby, which drove the campaign to have the ads banned. Uh, morning, guys. Now, Wendy, what's your reaction to the ads going back up again? Oh, look, I'm disappointed, Koshy. Um, obviously, this is a lose for kids and a lose for common sense, but can you believe the furor that has happened? You know, I was trending up with the top four yesterday with yeah. Justin Bieber. <laughs> well, you, start, so, you, you started the controversy and, and brought all the attention to it. <laughs> well, I started it over 12 months ago, Koshy, and you'll remember even on your program I've spoken about this. I've been fighting for outdoor advertising to be G-rated for over 12 months. Yep. For me, condom ads do not belong in bus shelters. It's as simple as that. Kids are catching buses to school and, and parents don't want the condom ads in those bus shelters. OK, Michael, you held a support rally yesterday. What's your view on the complaints? And, and particularly Wendy saying that, you know, it's offensive to, to young kids and parents don't want them up there. It's, it's not offensive to anybody at all. Um, what you're seeing is two people that love each other quite a lot and you're not seeing anything that's sexualised um, or inappropriate or anything that's passed a PG rating. Um, you're seeing two people there, it's very innocent, we're both fully clothed and there's nothing sexual about the image. The fact that it's a condom um, is really irrelevant. You, you don't have to explain that to your children if you don't want to tell them what it is and if they're old enough to know what it is then you can have that conversation. There's, there's nothing inappropriate, there's nothing sexual about that ad and what it is there for is to promote safe sex mm. um, and to help stop the spread of HIV which is a really really important issue and I think that has been getting lost a bit. Wendy, it, it is pretty subtle. Um, are your complaints about homophobia or would you feel the same if it was a heterosexual couple? Yeah, I would feel exactly the same, Koshy. This is about a condom ad and a safe sex ad in a bus shelter. We've got them in outside schools. Um, one is outside the Red Hill Special School at the moment. It's, that's where one of them was taken down. I don't know whether that's one of the ones that's gone up. But we've got um, condom ads. And when we say it's not sexual, it's about safe sex and condoms. And I don't think parents want that in our bus shelters. There is appropriate space and there's appropriate places for safe sex ads. Bus shelters is not one of them. OK, so you'd be happy if it was in a magazine or...? It is in a magazine and I think that's an entirely appropriate place for this magazine, okay. for this ad. So, Michael, it just seems as though it's the bus shelter issue which is the big one. Would you, would you be happy if they came out of the bus shelters and were, were more in magazines and radio and things like that? No, I think they'll put on the bus shuttles and they'll put there for a reason and that's where they should stay. Um, you know, just because it's, it's gay advertising and sex, safe sex advertising doesn't mean it should be marginalised and put where people don't have to see it unless they don't want to. This is a really, really important issue and it yep. needs to be put out there in this public, public sphere. OK. All right, guys, thank you for uh, both of you for your opinions. Appreciate your time this morning. Here's Thanks, Val. Thanks, Thanks very much.